right, guys, welcome back. 3 a.m. cards. I am Magic Ron. And finally, Dominaria United Collector Boxes. So there was actually no problem with our distributor. It was a problem with the post office. But that is all behind us, and there they are. I was going to say, if I open this and there's, like, jumpstart boxes in here or something, I'm going to lose it. But uh, let's go ahead. Which one are we opening first? Uh, let's go with this one. All right, we did open some collect. Uh, and again, I love the side of that. It looks just like the vintage magic boxes. So we did do some collector packs, but... This is our first collector box. Usually the collector boxes are the first things we open, but that was not the case this time, but we're doing it now. So let's see where our Legends cards are. I bet you the box topper is just as bad. Again, the box toppers look like they're just a card from the Dominaria United Commander set. Weird flex, and yeah, it's pretty much what it is. Nothing... Nothing good in that slot, but let's see. Okay, here we go. First collector pack from a box. So plenty of commons, uncommons, foils. Then we start with braids. Uh, showcase foil braids, very nice. We got the Llanowar Loom Speaker. Then the Macro uh, Morrow Sorcerer from the Commander set, which is a mythic. Then we got the Mercenary here, another Commander card. A lot of Commander cards in this. And then we have uh, Care Keep Overlord. And then Shivan Devastator, full art foil. Very nice on the Shivan Devastator. He is a mythic, the Shivan Devastator, as it should be. All right, so not bad for pack one. I really like that Shivan Devastator. I'm starting to see some really good use out of it. We got the Thran Portal. Just keep casting it, even if it's only a few mana. We got the Worm Speaker for Commander. Then the Dubious Monarch. Then Joda, the Unifier. Showcase on Joda. Academy Lore Master. And then that's a, at least a full art foil on that. Hopefully worth a couple bucks. Let's see what comes up next. Again, we got 12 packs here to do something. We got my homegirl, the Aegis Innovator, the Partisan, Warped Sanger for the Commander card. Okay, then we got Primeval Warden. Then Yavi Maya Coast, extended art on the Yavi Maya Coast, very nice. And then Anointed Peacekeeper, who is just a rare, but hopefully some of these uh, extended arts that are foils and whatnot. Hopefully they're a couple bucks, but again, a lot of the stuff is just so overprinted that even some of these special editions of the cards aren't really worth much. Hex Catcher, but that's all right. Leyline Binding, very nice right there. Ever Changing Dane from Commander. Then we got more Commander, Elf Archer, and then Jaya, Fiery Negotiator. That one is the full art foil on Jaya right there. Not seeing her get a lot of play right now. I feel like you kind of do see that. Like, there was, I feel like there was tons of Planeswalkers over the past uh, year or two that got, like, no play. Like, Eliwick, I love Eliwick, but no one ever ran her. Me either. I'm going to a Defiler of Faith, Valiant Veteran. Then we got Siege Demon for our Commander cards. More Braids, very nice. Then we got, a, oh, that's the Paranoid Partisan, but he looks a lot cooler when he's in Showcase and he's in a foil. And then that is it for that pack. So even if we get a bad box, this first one, I am not worried about it because we got five more collector boxes. Not going to open them in this video. Going to spread them out over six videos. Get all that content, you know what I mean? Timeless Lotus. Someone was asking why this is uh, a $25 card or whatever it's worth now, but uh, Commander. That's the reason anything is worth anything, because of Commander. Okay, and I was going to say, that's got to be a uh, command. Speaking of Commander, that's going to be a Commander card right there. So, Two-Headed Hellkite. So, Creature Dragon from DMC Commander. 
Then we got uh, Human Wiz, No More Commander stuff. And then Danith, Showcase Danith, and then, oh, very nice, Plaza of Heroes, Extended Art Foil on that one. Well, I thought Plaza of Heroes was a mythic, but it is not. That is surprising. Again, that just feels like a card that, even though they put it in a standard set, was meant for Commander. Alright, since then we got about five packs left. Scholar of Antiquity, more Leyline Binding, that time a foil. Emperor Mahal, to the second. Merfolk no Noble from the Commander set. A lot of Commander stuff again. Resurrected, more Jaya, another Jaya. And then we got a uh, Heir of Raga there, there. Kobold Warrior. Is he Commander as well? Oh yeah, he is Commander. I was going to say, that's weird. I feel like in other... Uh, other collector boxes, you usually only got one commander card per collector pack, but we've even, we've been seeing multiple commander cards in the collector packs. Even set packs now have commander cards in them. Defiler of Instinct, Stronghold Arena. All right, then we got the Dragon Master right there. Okay, again, yeah, command DMC Commander. God damn. Then we got Braids, and then uh, we got another Liberated Prime Evil there. I think we got three Braids in this box already. We'd like to get three Lilianas. Really, I, I would be happy if we at least got the Liliana and a uh, Sheila Dread in these boxes, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But we got four packs left to do that. That is possible. Sometimes it's that, for whatever reason, it's that last pack that really, that really does it for you. Drag to the bottom. Hourglass Pendant. Again, Commander. These are like, these are just all Commander. More Commander Rares. And we got Primeval and oof. Getting a little rough here, guys. I don't know. That one opened real easy. All right, we got to do something here. Where is our... Le can we get at least a Legends Common? More Dubious Monarchs. Starting to see a lot of duplication now. Spell Thiefin. Archangel of Wrath. Got a Claw. Shiv and Reef. Not terrible. And then, okay, Activated Sleeper. Um, okay, DMC Command. Just Dominaria Commander Collector Packs at this point. My God. That's all Commander right there. And I don't know how good the Dominaria Commander set is. Again, they release Commander sets with every new release now. So, just really watered down. <sighs> Lily, there she is. The beautiful Liliana of the Veil. That time she is in a foil. Maybe there's another Liliana in this pack. I, that would make me really happy. Academy Lore Master. Then we got Golden Sting from what else? Commander. And then we get a Claw. And then Llanowar Green Widow. So, I mean, Liliana appears to be the highlight of this box so far. But again, sometimes you start adding all this stuff up and you're like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Or you get the Shaft. Which, you can get the Shaft a lot opening Magic product. Alright, last pack of our first collector box. Another Yavimaya Coast. Got Dynamo there from what else? Commander. Okay, and we got the armor. Carpluzen Forest. Very nice full art in the Carpluzen Forest. And oh my god. I, 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 what did I say? The last pack. The last pack is where it always happens. And we just got Liliana of the Veil. The grandma version. No disrespect. But the mature version of Liliana right there. Full art foil. I am really glad that worked out. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. We're going to open more of these two Lilianas. Shivan Devastator, I don't know what else was good, the Timeless Lotus, but we will be back.